Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Sorry, I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, Ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Thank me later. Come on! Ben, we gotta go! Ben! Move your ass! What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... <laughs> Kitty man, I agree with you.
you, you should kick his ass. But now's not the time. Gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whip his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, I know you're upset. I understand. But you don't get to make a decision like that on your own. We're all in this together. We're a group. Sure! Take a vote! This is America! Fuck it! But before you all decide, there's something you ought to know. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. I'm sorry, Ben. I've got to do what's best for the group. That means cutting you loose. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a- <laughs> Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! <laughs> So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go! Go! Ben, come on, let's go! Hold on. 
scorpion! I've got you! Climb up! Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Quit fucking around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get the others out of here! Please. Clementine! Clementine! You made it back! Told you I would, didn't I? Did you find my parents? No, we didn't. Sorry, sweet pea. I looked for them, but no. Clementine, what happened here? One of those things got inside. It tried to get upstairs. I stopped it. Upstairs? Homemade. You did good, kiddo. Real good. Hey, what do you say we go check on Omid? Krista? Everything okay? Omid! Clementine, when did you last check on him? Like an hour ago? He was awake then. He was fine. Is he... I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -hmm. uh. Hey... Back already? We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He... didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me, she'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay, with a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes, thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk, in private. Listen, man. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. What did you want to talk to me about? 
I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me, to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I know it's a lot to consider, but I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. So that's it? After all we've been through, you, you're just gonna leave? Yeah, I figured you don't owe me anything. I got what I wanted in Crawford, and I never did like the water. Where will you go? I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. What do you want me to tell the others? Tell them whatever you want. I'm not real big on goodbyes. Tell Clementine she's going to be okay. You've got a good one there. She reminds me of me. Sweet pea. Kenny's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Clem, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. Clementine? Clementine?
Clementine? Clementine! Crazy? What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Lee? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's his. Look at his arm. He, he's been bitten. He's bitten! Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. Holy shit. And Vernon ain't here anymore. Did he take her? I don't know. Okay. What do you need from us? Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Mitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Thank <laughs> you. 
you all right? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Where have you taken her? This is Vernon. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you, I'd choose my next words very carefully.